Just thought I'd let you have a look at that garden that I was trying to make look good. Have a quick look round. Oh, if, if you haven't watched through the video, here's a couple of photos of what it looked like before. Not that good. But, what we've done, is we've popped in a new patio, we've built a retaining wall, um, we've put an echo drain in along here, so the water will run from the patio into the drain, and that goes under the ground to a big soakaway cell under the patio to deal with all the runoff. We've done a new lawn, we've edged it with a charcoal set, that just creates a mowing edge to make it easier. Um, more walling, we've built these steps, uh, just chucked together a quick picket fence with a little latch gate and a bit of a flag there to come out onto. And then up here, another patio area. And we've had to, because it was all on a slant, so we've raised this whole patio area so that it, the whole garden then becomes level. We've turned this tree into a bit of a feature because the roots come out so you can't go right up to the tree so we've just built a wall around it and then backfilled that with gravel and then put some, uh, you can't see because it's too deep but put some membrane underneath there and that suppresses the weeds because the brief is low maintenance membrane under there so you're not going to have to deal with any weeds or anything and the only, the only bit of green that was left in is that camellia over there. Brand new garden, nice fence either side. And that's that. The day job. <laughs> Boring. Let's go. Back to where I belong, Yorkshire. And uh, it's me. It's her. Croatia. From, yeah. <laughs> from Croatia to Yorkshire. It's a bit different, yeah. weather-wise. We're just heading up to the top of... Penn Hill. Penn Hill in the Yorkshire Dales. Just to have a brew and to scope out some of the, the views. The skies are a bit brooding at the moment, so... We'll see what we see. We see what eh? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I can edit that out. I'll leave it in, in fact. <laughs> I've always got to film myself going over styles or jumping over becks in case you stack it. Styles. Because that's what the lads want, that's what the fans want. The old Hazo stack it. But they'll be waiting a long time because the mountain goat of Yorkshire is a sturdy beast. And also, speaking of sturdy beasts, not you. These heifers in the background. Ugh. I just wanted to see how you deal with them. There don't seem to be any bulls, do they? No, just cows. Mums and babies, because that's the worst ones. Right, show us how you deal with them. Boo, move out the way, move! <laughs> yeah, good move. Yeah, <laughs> very moving. <laughs> oh, the Chuckle Brothers. You gotta be confident when you're around heifers. Here. Hey? Over. Yeah, they're moving over here to see what the crack is. See if they can trample or intimidate me. Not happening. Not gonna happen, I'm afraid. Ah, oh, they can smell fear. <laughs> no. No. I'll be doing the trampling around here. Come on. So I went to the doctors the other day because uh, I had like a big mole on my neck. And the <laughs> oh, are you looking at like that? She's ruining the gag, right? Well, the punchline is this. <laughs> that was going to be a good gag. Why is it on the wall? Though? It's sunbathing, it's fine. It's got a little tail, I don't it's know. It's fine, look at it. Hey, it's because what they used to do is when they trap moles and then they leave them all out on the walls. Why? Lols. That's what they do. I used to mole trap, I used to trap moles as part of my job. It won't have any diseases. It will. It's a rotting 
mole. It's not. It's fresh. Adrian. Adrian mole. Andy Cole. Sausage roll. Any more? I didn't know that they had tails. Tails, shovel hands. They're lovely little animals, but they're a bit of a pain on to farmers. If you go on the internet, I mean, if I do make this into a video, I'll put up a, vid uh, a picture of what they used to do with the moles where they'd strewn them all over the walls in Yorkshire. Yeah, cut to that photo now. Boom. Right, this is you looking back at it. Told you so. There's a weather front coming in. Oh, um, we don't have a map. We don't have a map. Why would we have a map? Good point, it's a good point. Do as I say, not as I do. It's starting to, wait, it's starting to rain and these clouds are thickening up, so. I don't know if we're gonna push for the top or just walk along this plateau. There's loads of mushrooms, magic mushrooms. That's your classic magic mushroom liberty cap. You can tell that it curls underneath at the bottom and it's got this nipple on the top of it there. Eat a few of them, expand your mind, eat too many of them, trouble. <laughs> right look, she's off. There's me waffling about magic mushrooms, we'll lob it though because we don't take magic mushrooms. Not when there's weather conditions like this. <laughs> Got to film it just in case you end up in the bog of eternal stench. <laughs> <laughs> You've got this. You jump in. I'll jump it, no worries. No. Too boggy, isn't it? It's a little bit too bog. Right, film this then. Bog myrtle. Oh. <laughs> Back on and that. You've got to film it. I am. Right, I'm going for it. Ready? How are you going to get across? I'm going to go up there a bit, I think. Well, that was good. The gazelle! Right, if anyone's watching this who's uh, recently been into the Dales and has lost a cheap pair of gegs, yeah, inbox me. Inbox me and uh, I'll send you a few photos of me and them. Ruin up. Dog roll, bit of cake, bit of what? Dribbling. Enjoying the vistas. Yeah. Any all lost in the squirrel of greed and capital skizem. Okay.